My next guest is a funny man making his first appearance on The Tonight Show. He is a regular performer at the Improv right here in Los Angeles and can be seen at that hotbed of entertainment, The Funny Bone, in Green Bay, Wisconsin, <laughs> April 9th through the 13th. Please welcome Bob Zaney. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jay. That's very nice. I am, this is it, baby. I am so excited. I had such a busy day, a lot going on in my life. I don't like to brag. I was up at 4.30 this morning, hit the snooze alarm till noon. Was exhausted, took a nap. I was up at 4.30, and I hit the snooze alarm till noon. Very busy day. I was scraping bird crap off statues for Christy Brinkley. It's, it's been a busy week. I made a killing in real estate. I shot a Jehovah's Witness on my front porch. <laughs> that is so wrong to laugh at. I actually went to the Jehovah's Witness Study Center. There's a sign on the door. It said, no solicitors. <laughs> they have a tendency to show up at your home. <laughs> Hence the irony. <laughs> Hence means therefore. And the only reason I do Jehovah's Witness jokes, they're passive people. So what, they gonna come after me? <laughs> Not invite me to the Halloween party? <laughs> they don't celebrate Halloween. <laughs> oh yeah, this is it, baby. <laughs> very busy, I just got back from Hawaii. I love Hawaii, I was very fortunate. Jay, I got to open up for Don Ho's cousin. Yeah, Stinky Ho. <laughs> He, he's the ho they don't talk about. <laughs> I learned a lot in Hawaii. Aloha means hello, goodbye, I love you, and the Mai Tai is going to be 18 bucks. <laughs> you know, I read in the newspaper today, there's a high suicide rate among dentists. How many dentists do we have here tonight? See? <laughs> I'm not sure the actual number. I think it's four out of five surveyed. <laughs> I'm going to be telling some jokes a little later on. <laughs> right now, I've just got to get this lecture out of the way. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sally Struthers called. You can pick up the diploma. <laughs> You just happen to be there. You know, it's just me or Sally Struthers getting bigger and bigger in those commercials. I mean, it looks like she ate some of those starving kids. And the flies. Oh, it's wrong eating flies, but it's okay to eat starving kids. Let's get our comedy priorities down, folks. You know, I read 28% of Americans think they can communicate with the dead. The other 72% switch back to AT&T. And this is a study. Pessimistic men likely to die early. Pessimistic men likely to die early. I just frickin' knew it. I said, I'm not a pessimist. I like to think of myself as an optimist with a reality chaser. I know the glass is half full. I just want to know who the hell's been drinking out of it. And do I have to pay full price? It's just business, baby. You know, everything is just business nowadays, even my marriage, to please my wife, I got in touch with my feminine side. Now I have a yeast infection. <laughs> even therapy is just business. I was so depressed, I went to a therapist, they said, well, treat each day like it was your last. So I stiffed them. <laughs> that means they didn't get paid. Even my cigar is just business. I like walking around with the unlit cigar. You get the stressed out non-smoker come up to you. Hey, you can't light that in here. Well, that's probably why it's not lit, Sparky. <laughs> I want you to go in the corner and have a mini stroke. <laughs> it's not secondhand smoke that's going to kill you. It's the stress worrying about it. My doctor blames everything on stress. I thought I finally got him and said, hey, doc, I got these chest pains. He said, Bob, it's stress. I said, doc, it's a bullet wound. <laughs> he says, I know. The person who shot you must have been really stressed out. I can't win. You feel like you can't win sometimes in life? I went out to breakfast, ordered pigs in a blanket. 
They brought me a picture of my parents in bed. <laughs> oh, come on. They're my parents. You didn't have to live them for 29 years. Give me a signal over here, folks, for you at home. I just can't win. I went to a one-hour photo. They had 30-minute parking. <laughs> See, at least some of you laughed at that joke. I did that joke in Oklahoma, and I got nothing. And out of the blue, this guy yelled, why don't you double park? <laughs> he did the math, baby. I want to leave you on this. It was Dale Carnegie who said, when fate hands you a lemon, you make lemonade. Isn't that a great expression? Think about it. Fate hands you a lemon, you make lemonade. You make something better out of it. I think that's how they came up with spam. <laughs> I think somebody gave somebody a pig's ass <laughs> and said, see what you can do with it. <laughs> and make sure... Thank you. We'll take a little break. We'll talk to Bob when we come back. Bob Zaney, right after this. Very fun. Right after this. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Bob.